Does the life have any meaning? And is there any purpose behind the life? Friends, I used to think a lot about the meaning of life and finally I reached to the conclusion that life actually has no specific meaning. We are the ones who give it the meaning. Life may mean different to different people and may be very different from the perspective of other animals. We are not ready to accept that we are created just by coincidence and evolution and have no meaning or purpose in life. Because thinking in this way makes us feel worthless. It hurts our ego. So we try to find some meaning or purpose in our life. Actually, we need to understand that the main purpose of life is to live life. But most of us have forgotten it. We are busy in finding the meaning of life and pursuing our dreams. But while doing this, we are actually missing the life. Life is like a canvas and you are the painter. You are free to draw your own picture on the canvas. There is no certain picture to draw or a specific color to choose. You can draw anything and can fill colors of your choice. When you look at the clouds in the sky, you can imagine any shape in the clouds. You may see faces or mountains, rivers or animals in the clouds. All depends on your mind. What is in your mind and whatever you want to see, your brain finds that image in the clouds. In reality, clouds have no certain shape. You imagine a shape in your mind and you will find the same shape resembling with it. In the same way, it is possible to impose any meaning on life, which actually has no meaning of its own. If you are not agree with what I say, then look at other animals. Think about their life. Do they have any purpose in life? No. But still, these animals are living a better life than many of us humans. The animals are free from most of the problems that arise due to intelligence. Actually, we are suffering our memories and high intelligence. Now, you may argue that the animals are not intelligent enough to understand the purpose or meaning of their life. But we humans know what is the purpose of our life. But let me ask you, is there any absolute purpose of life? You are the one who decides what's your purpose in life. For someone, becoming a great footballer may be the purpose of life. He thinks of the football all the time and dreams about it. A large part of his brain is occupied by the football. A little football takes most of the time of his life as he thinks football is the purpose of his life. For other persons, dancing, singing or painting may be their life. So were they born for this purpose? No. They just selected it to be the goal of their life. There are chances that they may change their goal according to the changing circumstances. So we give purpose and meaning to our lives which actually has no meaning of its own. You can think of life as a journey between B and D. B for birth and D for death. The C between birth and death stands for choice. You are the product of your choices. Your life is determined by what you choose at each moment. You may choose to be happy or sad. You may choose to love or hate others. You may choose to forgive or take revenge. Choice is yours. For some people, life is like a game. And some think that we are the characters of a play, where each character has its own role. There are heroes and villains that are playing their part. It is also true that the role of any character in the play may end at any time. Some think that we are here to help others and according to some, we are here just to eat, sleep and enjoy. While others think they have been sent on the earth to fulfill some purpose and they try to find that purpose. So life means different to different people in the world. How they see life is completely their perspective about life. You can find any meaning of life because life is meaningless. In simplest terms, life is, you are alive, that's it. After your death, there will be no life. Other meanings of life are just your imagination. Friends, first 25 to 30 years of a person are spent in studying. After that comes the stage of searching job, then finding a girl or boy for marriage and then planning for babies. 
But this process does not stop here. For rest of the years of our life, we engage in the academics, job, marriage and babies of our children. This cycle continues until we die. Our children too get trapped in the same cycle. In this way, we are sacrificing our life for our self-made goals and for our children. And in the same way, our children will sacrifice their lives for their children and this continues. So now tell me, if all of us are sacrificing our lives, then who is living the life? Do not forget that we have only one life and we cannot go back in time to change our choices. So live every moment of life wisely and happily. After listening this, don't feel that you have wasted your life. This is one way of thinking about life, where we consider that we are just wasting our life in pursuing our dreams and goals. But that's not the only way of thinking about life. We may see life in other way too. We may think that we must enjoy every moment of life. There is life even in pursuing our goals. Fulfilling our duties is also the part of life. Actually, life is made up of these tasks that we do to pursue our goals. But we should not think like we will enjoy or feel happiness after achieving a particular goal. We should understand that more than 99% of our life is about the journey. On reaching to a destination or goal, we don't stop there and set the next goal. Hence, we must learn to enjoy the journey, to enjoy 99% part of our life. Always remember that it doesn't matter how many moments were there in your life. What matters is how much life was there in each moment. To live life in actual sense, we must learn to live in the present moment. Because life is neither in the past nor in the future, it's in the present moment. Actually, there is no certain way of living a life. We cannot say for sure what is right or wrong way to live a life. In some situations, seemingly bad behavior may be good, while in other cases, what looks good may be inherently bad. For example, helping someone obviously seems a good idea, but by doing so, we make him or her more dependent on others. Criticizing or laughing at someone may seem a bad behavior, but it can do wonders. It can do what is not possible by motivation. The society is full of hypocrites. You might be knowing many animal lovers who are non-vegetarian. As I said, there is no right or wrong way to live a life. I am neither in favor of vegetarians nor against non-vegetarians. Many animals are carnivorous. Are these animals doing wrong? If I support vegetarians, then what about the food chain in nature? If some non-vegetarian animals turn into vegetarians, then the food chain will be disturbed. Humans are also animals. So, it's okay to be non-vegetarian like other non-vegetarian animals. If I talk about vegetarians who think that killing an animal is wrong, I want to ask them, have you ever killed insects like mosquitoes? Have you used insecticides, pesticides, mosquito killers, etc.? So, you are also killing the creatures though not eating them. When an ant get crushed by your foot, it doesn't bother you. But when a dog is hit by your car, you feel so bad. Why it is so? Does the body size matter so much? Do small creatures feel less pain? Obviously not. But that's an illusion or the ignorance of our mind that we care less about tiny creatures. Now suppose we observe the wounded or crushed ant with the help of a microscope. It magnifies its image thousands of times. Now, after observing this, you may feel guilt of crushing that ant. The same is true in case of the dog. If somehow we could make the dog small like an insect, killing or hurting it won't bother you much. That's the psychological effect of size. In both cases, they feel equal pain. So don't think if you are living a vegetarian life, you are not hurting or killing creatures. And if you are a non-vegetarian, don't think you are wrong because other carnivorous animals are doing the same.
can we blame other animals for being carnivorous? No. So it is very difficult to say what is absolutely right or wrong way to live. If you think that it is okay to kill animals, but definitely wrong to kill humans, then think again. In many cases, killing humans is justified and even glorified. You know, what happens in wars? Many soldiers are killed. Are the soldiers criminals? No. The soldiers of a country are called heroes or patriots when they kill soldiers of other countries. They are not punished or condemned for this heinous act, but glorified. So nothing can be tagged as good or bad. It all depends on the situation, time, culture, society, and your mind's perspective. Good and bad cannot exist without each other. One does not exist in the absence of other. Good people are considered good because there are bad guys in this world. If all are good, then what's the importance of being good? Similarly, if all are bad, then there is nothing bad in being bad, as all are bad. In the same way, light makes sense because of darkness. Food makes sense because of hunger. Happiness makes sense because of grief. And height makes sense because of depth. So most of the things in this world are in pair and relative. You should not think this is good or this is bad. This is beautiful or ugly. He is rich or poor. This is high or low, fast or slow. Everything has its own beauty and importance. Something bad for someone may be good for other. Your problem may be an opportunity for other. Similarly, what makes you happy may cause trouble for others. So, who are you to decide what's right or wrong, good or bad? Everything is right and beautiful in this life. There is nothing absolutely right or absolutely wrong in this world. Pain and even death also are necessary and desirable in the world. Everything is good and right, at right time and right place. So life is just the projection of our imagination. We see the world in our mind, or in other words, see our mind in this world. This is all for now. What do you think about life? Let me know in the comments. What's the meaning of life for you? Friends, if you liked the video, then please like and share it with others. And if you want to see more such videos, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Engineering Made Easy. Thank you for watching the video till the end. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.